Back in the 1940s, Hollywood's rich and famous made the trip across the pond in style on board one of Cunard's luxury cruise liners. Here are some of the biggest stars of the time boarding Queen Elizabeth in New York. Leading men Pat O'Brien and Ray Milland, just some of the many famous faces. Frank Biggs remembers them all. He started out as a bellboy on board Queen Mary in 1946, then aged just 15. Nearly 70 years later, and he's the one who's now being served on board Queen Mary 2. It was another world, really. Seeing white bread to eat that lovely. And, and when we got to New York, and they see these banana splits and all them ice creams and all that, which you never see. Because of the war? Because of the war, yeah. Today he was guest of honour, reliving his history in this giant photograph of him and his fellow bellboys, which more than two and a half thousand passengers pass as they make their way around the ship. We'd be on the doors, you know, open the door when they come in, or on the lifts, going up their lifts, delivering telegrams, paging people. Frank's also got a few secrets to share too. Sometimes uh, the person would ask me to go and get, just for say, Ray Milan's autograph. And well, I've been up to him a few times, so in the end I used to sign the book myself and uh, give it to the passengers. They never knew. They do now, though. You were a little bit richer for doing that, though? Yeah, oh, yeah. Got a couple of dollars. Sadly, Frank didn't last long as a bellboy. He enjoyed New York a little too much one day and missed the ship home. When he did arrive back in Southampton, he was sacked, Cunard giving him a 99-year ban. However, he's happy to remain as a passenger. Chris Robinson, BBC South Today, on board Queen Mary 2 in Southampton.